Washington, D.C. preparing for the March for Israel rally, which is happening later today. Thousands of demonstrators are expected to show up at the nation's capital. The event is organized by Jewish Federations of North America and the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. Now, demonstrators will be expressing their solidarity with Israel and frustration with recent anti-Semitism around the world. And as we speak, hundreds of people from Central Ohio are on their way to that very demonstration right now. Around 500 people boarded buses destined for the Capitol early this morning. 10TV's Amy Steigerwald was there at the Ohio State Hillel when it was all happening. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Yeah, we watched about 50 to 75 students file on those buses a little over two hours ago this morning. And like you mentioned, they are heading to Washington, D.C. today for that March for Israel. And they were joined. They're not the only location in Central Ohio doing this today. This is just one of four locations where people filed out on buses earlier this morning to head to that march. I spoke with a few of those students who were here this morning. They tell me it was very important for them to participate in this today to go to D.C. and they're glad that the OSU Hillel gave them the opportunity to participate in this. Many students also say the rise in anti-Semitic acts all across Central Ohio and even here on OSU's campus really motivated them to speak out even more. I'm kind of in shock that it's happening. Um, you always hear about instances happening at other campuses and I didn't think it would happen here. Um, and just the two that we just saw this past weekend was really scary for a lot of people and just a questioning of where do we stand? How should we go about our days? Now, those who attended the mar or will attend the march later today are expected to return to Columbus later tonight. That march is at one o'clock this afternoon at the nation's capital. For now, reporting live at Ohio State, Amy Stuggerwald for 10TV News.